We will, of course, be bringing up uh, the plight of the two Canadians in China. And Prime Minister Justin Trudeau welcomed U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to the country for his first official visit. And although the two nations have plenty of things to talk about, the trip was overshadowed by escalating tensions between China and Canada. Pompeo arrived the same day that the Chinese embassy released the statement saying Canadian-Chinese ties were facing gross difficulties. Officials are also demanding that Canada immediately release Huawei chief financial officer Meng Wanzhou. The prominent Chinese businesswoman was detained under an extradition agreement with the United States earlier this year. Extradition is a criminal justice matter. It is not a political matter. Not long after the detention of Meng Wanzhou, China arrested two Canadian men, Michael Spaver and Michael Kovrig. Canada has been pressing the United States to help push Beijing for their release. And we speak about it a great deal. Uh, President Trump mentioned it directly in his meeting with President Xi Jinping. I, I was there uh, when he did it. He made uh, unambiguous uh, America's concern about uh, this inappropriate behavior. Uh, and then we've done other uh, we've engaged in other diplomatic activity. Many suspect that Wang Zhou, Spaver and Kovrig are all pawns in a larger diplomatic dispute. But Freeland insists Canada is playing by the rules. It's not a political decision. Uh, the application of the extradition treaty is done under delegated authority by Canadian public servants and that is as it ought to be. But the idea that the three cases are related doesn't sit well with Pompeo. He took exception to a question implying that. These are deeply different. The arbitrary detention of two Canadian citizens in China is fundamentally different as a human rights matter, as a rule of law matter. These are fundamentally different matters than the Canadian decision to use their due process and the rule of law to behave in a way that's deeply consistent with the way uh, de decent nations work. The two also spoke about political unrest in Venezuela, trade, and Canada's suffering canola industry. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.